All right, let's get this motherfucking shit started. It's motherfucking Thursday. The motherfucking saga continues. Let's get it. Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off. That shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm bailing it. Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off. That shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm bailing it. By the way, the boy go by Heist Man. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk episode motherfucking 39. Today is Thursday, March the 7th. And um, I'm a little behind the eight ball today, right now, you know. Just a little bit, kind of, you know, off schedule. You know, I usually do shit certain times, certain time I don't do shit. But we're gonna get right back into it, you know. I've been preparing to go on this motherfucking trip this weekend, get away. And get away means get away from the kids because they ugly and it's my birthday and we want to go celebrate without them do the grown-up things you know no kids no chocolate cake no ice cream no balloons grown-up shit put me a some weed with some candles in it Woo! no i'm bullshitting but i i, I got a um a, a um, regular scheduled program that i usually do you know i don't sleep at night i stay up all night you know like when y'all waking up, I'm still up. I'm already up. So anybody want to fuck with the heist, man, fuck with me 4, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm still up getting it, drinking, smoking. But, like I said, today, like my, my usual schedule, like um, I stay up all through the night and I get my kids up for school. I drop them off. Then I go to the shop, do some shit there. Then I come home. Then my wife go to the shop. Then 3 o'clock, I pick the kids up. And you know, this is the life of heist. But today was a little bit different. You see, the shop didn't have to be tended to this morning. So as I brought the kids home from school, I mean, I brought the kids home from school. As I took the kids to school, I came back and I got in the bed. Oh, it's about eight o'clock. 815 roll by i'm just oh i'm getting into it i've been sleep i've been drinking all night the night before which was wednesday today thursday and um that's all i hear it's the motherfucking lawnmower man oh my god why the lawn not who who played in lawnmower man was that kevin bacon no nah, that wasn't kevin bacon that was hollow man anyway the motherfucking dude cut the grass come by legit you know well, we call them jitterbugs or jits down here in Florida. You know, jit for short, jitterbug. A young man, about 20, 22. He's trying to earn some money. But he cutting the grass today. Oh, my God. Why is he cutting the grass? He cutting the grass. I'm waking up. Oh, my God. I'm waking up. I'm waking up. I ain't been asleep. I'm kind of tired. This motherfucker want to get done with the grass and ask me for a cigarette. Why he want to do that for? Oh, my God. I'm thinking, bro, you just got paid. Why you don't want my cigarette for? I gave you the money. You go take the money by your shit. And that brings me to a story about my homeboy. Escalade. Harvey Escalade. I nigga checked out the show yesterday too. It was kind of shocking to me because where I'm from, people don't know me from doing no YouTube internet type shit. <clears throat> they know me from rapping and smoking and telling jokes and shit and laughing. But my homeboy, one of my best friends, who I'm older than, by the way, by 11 days. <laughs> um, he checked out the show and shit, but it made me think about a story about this nigga asked me for a cigarette after he didn't got paid, you know. So one time me and my boy Escalade, we sitting at the store. We, we ain't sitting at the store. We go into the store. We probably going to get some beer, some blunts or something shit. You know, we, we at the store. And a nigga walked into the store. He, um, My boy Harvey knew. And he was like, yo, what's up, Harvey? Let me get a cigarette. And before I knew it, my boy Harvey blanked out like, yo, what the fuck, man? He asked me for a fucking cigarette. We in the fucking store. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit was so hilarious to me. <clears throat> it is brought to the point like, yeah, why are you asking this man for a cigarette in the store? Like, 
you came out your way to come inside of a store to ask a man for something that you can pay for yourself. So that made me think about this motherfucking lawnmower man. That's what I'm gonna call him the lawnmower man. Like I said, I don't know if that was Kevin Bacon or what was he? Hollow man. I, I gotta figure that out. Lawnmower man. That, was, that shit was crazy though. But um, yeah, man. So I'm kind of behind right now because. I didn't get the sufficient amount of sleep because of the lawnmower, man. Then, when I wake up, you know, not when I woke up, but I went up to get out the um, cigarette to the legit and shit. Charlene in there painting. She decided to be Miss Busybody early in the morning. And she wanted to start painting. She started painting the living room. So the house smell like paint right now. And I got a little headache. And she painted the whole wall. It was like, man, what the fuck are you doing early in this afternoon or this morning? It was this morning. What the fuck you doing early this morning fucking um, doing your shit? Painting and shit. You know? So she doing the most this morning. So it got me with a little headache. On top of the lawnmower, man. On top of the drinking from last night. It was like, I'm kind of woozy. So this ain't going to be the greatest of shows. I mean, it never is. But fuck it. We gonna do it anyway. Talk that talk. So um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. What, what, what else I got to talk about? I said Charlene being Miss Busy Body. Talked about the nigga with the lawnmower. Eh. Oh, Alex Trebek. Oh man, R. I. Not R. I. P. Yet, but Alex Trebek, stage four. Damn, that's my nigga, man. All the Alex's wind up missing, ain't they? Alex Shebeck, Alex Payne, out there. Um, LeBron passed Jordan for fourth all time on the damn point board leader. Whatever. He been playing longer than Jordan shit. What do you expect? Of course he gonna do that shit. So, man, I'm just behind right now, man. Kind of fucked up. I ain't feeling it, feeling it, but I'm feeling it, you know? So, fuck it. What else we got today? March 7th birthdays. Uh, Rachel Weiss. She played in The Mummy. Yeah. Wanda Sykes. Wanda Dykes. <laughs> I'm bullshitting. Shout out to Wanda Sykes. Um, oh, Brian Cranston. Today, his birthday. That's the dude from um, Breaking Bad. Walter White. Heisenberg. All right. And Laura Prepon. Prepon. Orange and New Black Chick 70 show. Yeah. Oh, today is my homegirl birthday, Felicia. Back in North Carolina. Big happy birthday. Shout out to the homegirl, Felicia. You know, um, me and her birthday is a day apart. And it's crazy because we the same age for one day. Like, she turned 35 today and I'm 35 right now. But tomorrow, I'm leaving you, homie. I'm turning 36. So, big shout out to Felicia. Today, her birthday, too. Um, what happened to the news on March 7th? Some shit, some history facts from March 7th. 1965, the March on Selma. Man, I mean, I ain't gonna say, yeah, it ain't Black History Month no more. <clears throat> so I ain't really gotta speak about that. Everybody got beat the fuck up over there. Martin Luther King and all them niggas and shit, so whatever. 1999, Stanley Kubrick died. Oh, shit. The big monolith from, what do you call that movie? 2001 Space Odyssey. Eh. Oh, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell receives a patent for the telephone. Hmm. 322 BC, Aristotle died, who was a philosopher. Fuck him, whatever. In 321, Constantine decrees Sunday a day of rest. I don't know, man. I got some weird notes today. I, I found a whole lot of little, little facts about March 7th. And I wasn't really feeling it, so I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just going to run through some shit. In 1908, the Cincinnati Mayor Brief announces women are not physically fit to operate motor vehicles. They still ain't. No. <laughs> I'm going to hear for that one. Oh, 1922, the South Pole was discovered. Remember South Pole clothing? Big ass shirts in the 90s and I mean the late 2000s, early 2000s. Oh, 1933, Monopoly was invented. Y'all remember? I like Monopoly. I was a hustler in Monopoly. I used to like rolling the dice and spending the money. I don't know. In 1996, the first pictures of the surface of Pluto was published. Or, you know, we've seen the first pictures of Pluto. Pluto is Pluto a planet? Oh, I think they 
Oh, they dipped out on Pluto. Pluto not a planet no more. How you gonna say a planet not a planet no more? Planet been a planet for all our life. And now y'all want to change the narrative about the damn... About the planet. So Pluto not a planet no more. Y'all worried about planets and shit. We ain't even discovered what's on Earth yet in the ocean. So watch out, space niggas. All right. Oh, in 2002, Anna Nicole Smith, she got an award of $88 million from an old dead nigga. Oh, my God. Why she do that? Anna Nicole Smith, she was pretty. She gained a whole bunch of weight. She looked the better if she had that weight on because she was thick. Anna Nicole Smith. I think they took her ass out too. They wouldn't let her get that money, man. That was some old rich, old white man tycoon money. You think they was gonna get that to a little thought? Eighty-eight million. His family murked her. Okay, what nobody say. Ooh, two thousand and eleven. Charlie Charlie Sheen was fired from two and a half. Get the fuck out of here! How's this news on Heist Man's? <laughs> ah! On talk that talk. We talking about Charlie Sheen. He had the A's in the Tiger blood. So, fuck him. Peyton Manning retires on this date. I think, yeah, 2015, I think. Peyton Manning. Big ass head, Papa John Pizza. Fuck him. Run out of shit to talk about, man. I'm going to make this one short today because, I'm, like I said, I'm still preparing for my vacation. My my elaborate getaway. Me and the wife are going to the motherfucking hard rack. Hard rack. Ha! <laughs> my wife has a rack. Um, We're going to the hard rack. <laughs> casino and hotel we're going to get away have hotel sex without the kids knocking on the door because ain't nothing like banging something get out get the fuck away from the door oh can't put oh nutty no i'm bullshit <laughs> but i shouldn't have said that man i mean my kids want to listen to my shit sometime and i don't want to say nothing about hotel sex ew that's disgusting daddy we're going to take the nigga break early today because the nigga show is going to be off the air in motherfucking five minutes probably. This might be a 15 minute video. I'm sorry, people. But like I said, man, I got kind of fucked up and backtracked today, man. It's almost like seven o'clock here. And I try to get this shit done and over with before then. But I'm saying, <coughs> let's get the nigga out of the way. Okay, let's go. Okay. One, everybody, this is the time of the show when we take our motherfucking inhale and we exhale and we release the nigga. So, on the count of three, everybody with me. We're going to inhale and exhale. So, one, two, three. Nigga. I had to get it all, get it all out. I just brushed my teeth, too, so. I know that did not smell. It did not smell bad. It smelled great. It smelled like Crest when I said, nigga. It's that Crest nigga. All right. Um. Okay, what are we gonna talk about right now? Oh, today is motherfucking Thursday. That means we gonna be live on the Ray Rollins Network celebrating the boy Heist Man's birthday. It's been kind of quiet as kept, you know. Not that I ain't been telling nobody, but if I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear from me on this channel, man, because that's where I'm at right now, you know. I'm on this channel. Like, I can do it on YouTube, but I mean, not YouTube, but Twitter, but. You get a whole bunch of fake likes and shit. I ain't even gonna say happy birthday to myself on Twitter, you know? I don't want nobody saying it to me. Happy birthday. Oh, nice man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You don't fuck with me, man. I don't, I'm gonna get more motherfucking happy birthday likes than viewers on this motherfucking episode. So, don't do it. Don't even say happy birthday to me. Just come show up tonight on the Ray Rollins Network and talk that shit with your boy, Heist Man the Folk, Ray Rollins, Alex Payne. Bailey Smoke Rudolph, you know? We doing our shit. Anybody want to come through, slide up. Call in. Call in the show. Get into a beef with me. How fuck you up? Nah, I'm bullshitting, man. I don't want no, I want no smoke. But I'm going to be extra drunk. I ain't going to be extra drunk. I still got shit to do in the morning. I still got to get the kid. I still got to prepare. I got to get the fuck up out of here. We rolling. We leaving these kids, man. Babysitters locked up food all that shit man that shit look like a motherfucking we call it um y2k we like y2k we stocked up on everything y'all not gonna have to want nothing nobody because we getting up out of here boy i'm so excited i just, just want to get away from the kids man they ugly man i'm saying right now i had to literally lock my door to keep the kids from coming in right now 
right now. They clawing at the door like I got the vaccine to the zombie. You know? It, it, that's what it is. My kids are zombies, man. They at the door right now. Daddy, let me in. I just want to look at you. That's how they is, man. They fucking animals. But we're going to do a top 10. Speaking of zombies and motherfucking mutant animals that I have on the other side of this room. We're going to do the top 10 horror villains. And because my little kids are villains. So, top 10 horror villains. Number 10 is Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those people? I'm getting kind of lit right now, boy. I'm just so excited, man. We got like five, six hours into the motherfucking Ray Rollins show. I'm drinking water right now. I want to save all my motherfucking kidney and my liver for the night. But Jeepers Creepers, number 10. Oh. Hitting too many buttons. Touching too much shit. Here we go. Number 10 was Jeepers Creepers. Number 9 is Chucky. I like Chucky. I think they got a new Chucky coming out, too. I used to like the, uh, I think I had a, uh, not a real Chucky doll, but a real, uh, my buddy. I think, yeah, my buddy, my buddy. Then I had kid sister. I didn't have kid sister. Um, my sisters had kid sisters, but I had my buddy. But them shits would look, look creepy as fuck, man, because I seen one, like, probably 10 years ago. Uh, my buddy, I was like, oh, shit, that look kind of scary, cuz. I don't want to play with that. I mean, I wasn't going to play with it because 10 years ago, I'd have been 25. But 10 years ago, I seen one. I thought that shit looked kind of crazy. I need to move that shit. All right. Number eight is Jigsaw from Saw. Yeah, he dope. I don't think he should have been higher than or lower than Chucky. But Jigsaw was the shit, though, man. He a fucking... You want to play a game? Hey, you didn't do your homework. And because you didn't do your homework, you flunked the test. You know, they, he come up with some creepy shit. And you have to know that test. This is not a test. This is just a... What would he say? Wanna play a game? I can't do the nigga voice, man. Y'all know Jigsaw, though, man, from South. Fuck him, too. Ooh, number seven. It's Candyman. Um, Candyman was never scary to me. I was just happy to see a black man killing people, you know? He had the bees and shit. I never got into Candyman, though. He, he wasn't, he was just a black nigga with a hook. He ain't had no real scary shit. Like, I ain't, oh, hey, let's do that. Let's do Candyman in the mirror tonight, somebody. Somebody, I want everybody to go in your room, bathroom, do Candyman 10 times. And if you don't make it, sorry, bro. I ain't mean to get you, but. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do the Candyman challenge tonight. No, I ain't. I'm scared of you. <laughs> Number six is Pinhead. Who's Pinhead come off of? Pinhead come off of, um... That wasn't Fant... Oh, remember Fantasia with the ball? I forgot the movie Pinhead came off of. Hellraiser. Oh, yeah. Mama raised a Hellraiser. It's Tupac. But, um, Pinhead. He had all them pen... Uh, why he couldn't be pencil head? Why he couldn't have pencils coming out of here? He had to have pins. Oh, not those pins. Oh, like needle pins. Yeah, Pinhead, he was, um, he was cool in that little leather, little get-up he had. But, um, number six is Pinhead in the top ten horror villains. Number five is Leatherface. Leatherface looked nasty. Had his little tongue coming out of, and had his, like, face sewed on with a motherfucking bitch's body and shit. He wore people's head. So, Leatherface, eh? Oh, shit. I have a virus and threat protection on my computer. No, we do not want to do that right now. Get the fuck out of here. I'm on the show. All right. Number four is Michael Myers. Um, Michael Myers used to be scary as fuck to me, man. And not necessarily him, because he wasn't but a, a man in the mask. But um, the music. That shit was scary, man. Me growing up in the 80s, man. In, in the, well, I was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. I guess I did grow up in the 80s too. Cause I, I was, eh, shut up. Um, yeah. So Michael Myers, he was scary, man. Number three is it, it the clown. What, which it? Cause the second one was scary to me. That nigga had all them teeth. The first one was scary too. It was more funny in the first one. But it the clown is number three. It was dope. I'm ready to see that new it when they grown up and shit too. Because 
It was dope. I just said that. It was dope. Guess what? I want to see it because it was dope. Ooh, I'm fucked up, everybody. Just relax. Bear with me. Um, Number two is Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, man. That motherfucker. I don't, he must have been a track star because Jason Voorhees caught everybody who ran from him. And he walked. He walked. I think he'll catch you same boat. Because you motherfucking do something, and I hate when they fall. It's like, oh my god, bitch, you fail. Come on. And it's like a stereotype. What you gonna do? Be like a white girl fall in a movie? Hey, I ain't falling. If I fall, man, I'm doing parkour or whatever. I'm gonna roll that shit and keep moving or something. <clears throat> I'm scared of that nigga, though. Jason Voorhees. And number one is my favorite, Freddy Krueger. I love Freddy Krueger. He was funny, man. Freddy Krueger had the little leather, had the little hat on and shit. He had the knives on his hand. Get you in your dreams. Wake up. Talk shit. I mean, the funniest thing that motherfucker said was like, mm -mm, not me. That motherfucker, um, the girl, she thought she had a baby by uh, Freddy Cougar. She woke up pregnant and shit, and baby came out ugly as hell, big ass head. And rawr, 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 rawr. Then the baby came out, and she was like, <laughs> and she looked at Freddy Cougar. Freddy Cougar said, uh-uh. Not me. I'm like, oh lord, he was on Mori. Freddy Cool was on Mori back in the days. Not the father. <coughs> um, that's all for the top ten. The crazy thing about it, I don't, I don't, I don't watch scary movies. I don't like scary movies because I know they fake. Like the scary movies that I will watch is I will watch a Freddy Cougar. I will watch a Jason. I will watch a Michael Myers, a Leatherface. You know, I, I watch them. Maybe Jigsaw. Because the reason I watch them because they are real people. It's like a white man in a mask. He can chase me. He can chase me and stab me in the back, neck, leg, arm, whatever. When it comes down to other shit like ghosts and goblins and shit like that, like spirits and shit, I don't, I don't watch them. It's like that's dumb. I'm not. I'm not gonna run from no, a cloud of smoke that you say is a ghost. I, I don't believe in ghosts, so I don't watch ghost movies. But I watch a man with a knife movie. Or a chainsaw or whatever, machete. I watch them. But the thing is, the scariest thing in motherfucking horror movies to me, the scariest, the scariest thing inside of a horror movie is a little white girl. Oh my god. Put a little white girl in a movie. That bitch can't do nothing but walk by. It's like, oh shit, there she go. What she do? She just walk by. I'm like, I don't know, man. She she, she a monster or something. I'm telling you. Look at any fucking horror movie and put a little white girl in it. Just let this little white girl walk across the screen. I'm telling you, long hair, long blonde hair, white girl, scary as fuck. I don't care. But some honorable mentions is, like I said, little white girls. They scary as me. They should be. They should be number one. Any little white girl in a horror movie, I'm scared of. Number two is leprechauns or leprechaun. Remember leprechaun? Yeah, he was alright. He was he was more ugly than scary. And Norman Bates, psycho. I remember Norman Bates. He was all right, man. Hello, mother. Oh, what about um the nigga from um Silence of the Lambs? Hello, Clarice. I don't know. But like I said, man, this has been like a, this, is, this is a short episode because I ain't feeling it. I'm feeling it, but I ain't feeling it. I'm just more excited about tonight. I'm trying to get my production done for the day so I can get on to my regular scheduled programs. So, fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe, on the motherfucking Ray Rollins Network tonight at 11 o'clock. This has been Talk That Talk, episode 39. Fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Peace.